Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. A high-level delegation of heads of state and organizations of Nobel Prize or Peace Prize laureates accompanied by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed al Mtawa and Sheikh Hussam bin Isa al-Khalifa toured a number of historical heritage areas, cultural landmarks and vital developmental projects in the kingdom. The delegation toured the Khalifa City housing project in the Southern Governorate where they were briefed on the facilities and services that combined the heritage of Bahrain with the modern architectural style. The delegation listened to an explanation of the importance of Khalifa City in supporting the policies of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the government's efforts to meet the needs of the citizens. Members of the delegation expressed their admiration and happiness for visiting Khalifa City and the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain to achieve a housing and urban boom commensurate with the advanced position of the Kingdom in the field of human development internationally. They stress that the government of Bahrain, headed by His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, has achieved success in the field of sustainable development that have won the admiration and appreciation of the international organizations, noting that Bahrain's civilized urban and housing progress is evidence of the efforts achieved at all sectors. The delegation then visited the gravity indoor skydiving in Zellag and were briefed by the general manager Khawla Al Hamad on the facility and services as well as preparations to host the third FAI World Cup of Indoor Skydiving 2018. The delegation expressed admiration for the gravity, which is considered one of the longest glass tunnels for indoor freestyle skydiving in the world, stressing that it is one of the distinctive landmarks that reflect the manifestations of the cultural and developmental progress in Bahrain in various fields. They also praised the kingdom's opportunities to encourage youth and sports and the development of innovative projects that enhance the competitiveness of the Bahraini economy as these projects are important in consolidating Bahrain's position on the regional and international sports and tourism map. They emphasize that this impressive level of gravity and its advanced services will make a major contribution to the success of Bahrain hosting the third FAI World Cup of indoor skydiving 2018 and confirmed Bahrain's ability to host the world's largest international sporting championships. The delegation then visited the Bahrain Fort and Sif area, which is one of the cultural landmarks in the kingdom and monitors an important aspect of the modern history of the kingdom of Bahrain. At the end of the tour, the high-level delegation visited more than 400-year-old Tree of Life, one of the most prominent touristic attractions in the kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated today in the meeting of the Arab Ministerial Quartet Committee on the follow-up of the crisis with Iran, which was held in Cairo. The committee consists of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Arab Republic of Egypt, and the Secretary General of the Arab League. Bahrain presented a file on Iran's involvement in supporting the Iran-based terrorist organization al ashtar Brigades, which works to undermine security and stability in the kingdom. The report was welcomed by the committee. The committee issued a statement condemning the Iranian sabotage and continuous interference in the internal affairs of Bahrain. It also <coughs> commended Bahrain's efforts in fighting terrorism and noted the ability of the security personnel in the kingdom to throttle a number of terrorist acts and plots and the arrest of 116 members belonging to a terrorist organization established with the help of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard as foreign affiliates including the Asaib al-Haq Ahl al-Haq and Hezbollah terrorist groups. The committee also welcomed the decisions of a number of countries to designate the Iran-based al ashtar Brigade in Bahrain as a terrorist organization and designating a number of its members on the terrorist list. This position reflects the determination of uh, world countries to address terrorism. The statement also uh, condemned uh, Iran's continued interference in the internal affairs of the Arab countries. 
The Assistant Foreign Minister Abdullah bin Faisal bin Jabur al Dosiri attended today the opening of the 39th session of the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva. The importance of this session comes after the nomination of the new High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michel Bachelet, and the Assistant Foreign Minister expressed hope for a constructive work with the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights in order to create a successful strategic partnership, activating mechanisms of technical cooperation and achieving common goals in the development and promotion of human rights at all levels. The Assistant Foreign Minister affirmed that the reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is based on respecting the human rights and dignity, adding that, that Bahrain has become an example in the region in the field of human rights due to its many achievements in this regard. He pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain is working to implement various initiatives and programs to promote the values of tolerance, national unity and peace coexistence among all people and combat violence, terrorism and extremism in various media outlets in accordance with the constitution and relevant laws without prejudice to cultural and religious values. A discussion session was held today in the Arab World Institute in Paris regarding Bahraini women in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW Hala Al Ansari, the Ambassador of Bahrain to Belgium, Bahia Jawad Al Jishi, as well as the SCW Legal Advisor Dr. Mohamed Walid Al Masri spoke in the session. The session focused on the stages of Bahraini women's development in the era of His Majesty the King in the cultural and developmental fields as well well as women's participation in political and legislative areas. The seminar also noted the establishment of the Supreme Council for Women as a national mechanism to follow up the progress of women in the kingdom under the leadership of his, her, Royal High, her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. For their part, the audience of the seminar hailed the achievements of Bahraini women in various fields.